Hi my loves, it's Kasha Planarista 101. So today we are going to be planning in my wellness planner for the week of March 30th through the 5th. Um, this week I am participating in a challenge with Miss Raylene from Raylene Creates. I'm going to link her channel down below. And the challenge is called You're in Control. So I'm going to be using the spring sticker book because I like the colors of the letters up there. And I'm going to spell out I am in control on my pages. And I'm not going to be using any more stickers out of that book except those letters. I really do like them. And I like that they're clear too, so they have this sheen to them. The challenge that we're doing this week is called You're in Control. And what we asked everybody who participated to do was to go ahead and create a spread that means control to you. And this challenge was prompted by the fact that on Monday the 30th, it's um, I am in control day. So we created a similar challenge saying you're in control and to show us what that means to you. And the definition, the best definition I think of the control is to have power to make decisions and how something is managed or done or the ability to direct the actions of someone or something like an action method law limits growth feelings and etc So I think that's um, the best definition of what that means. And there are times where I'm very, very much in control. And there's times where I don't handle it very well and then I lose my control. We all have those moments. No one is perfect. We all go through this. So I'm just writing some things that have effect on my control so like feeling and stress and pressure whether it's like peer pressure or whether it's my own pressure from being a perfectionist at times and i'm just gonna create like this really mishmash of words on this page like life, sometimes you need to control your life and your reactions and sadness, actions, so there's a lot of different things, obsessions, fears, there's a lot of things in our lives that determine technology, overload. There's so many, so many things. Anxiety. Um, so I'm just going to be writing out different things. And I'm going to grab different colors of pens and keep repeating it. So this black where it's control is very, very... Full, and then where it says I am in that's gonna stay empty so I'm just gonna do this to the music and when I'm done writing all of this out I'll be right back
So the pens I'm grabbing really quickly, I just wanted to tell you, are the Ink Joy colored ones and they're gel. And I feel like they work pretty wonderful. Okay, I'm pretty much done here with writing all of this and now you can see what I meant when this is going to be quite filled in. It's a little bit different, it's completely different than what I do normally and this to me symbolizes how you are one person and that's why the black is empty and then you have to control all of different aspects like so. And now I'm going to move on to the checklist and this is my wellness so again five lines and it's breakfast lunch dinner um snack and medicine and i'm going to be using those different colored pens to put that in my spread i'm going to stagger them so it looks a little bit different and it gives it some dimension and a little bit of interest versus everything being so aligned And my checklist is starting to look so beat up. I might need another one soon. Or I might start using the circle one for a while. We will see. But for the time being, I either have to figure out how to clean it up. Or just get a new one because I really don't like the look of that. Where it just takes all of the colors from pens, especially when I use my mild liners. Oh, 
Okay, and now that I have done that, I am going to color in the lots. So by that I meant lots of things. And then I'm going to add any. And I'm going to add no as well. This is just a reminder that I'm able to say no. So now I'm going to grab my checklist. Um, I'm in boxes. And I'm going to fill up some boxes at the bottom and again I'm gonna stagger them for a similar effect um, as on the top and in, those will actually be filled out with my mood every single day so I'm gonna use similar colors as with the pen where it's green and purples and blues and teal Okay, and now it's time to grab another checklist and just make some check marks for my hydration. And I'm going to be using the 829 book, so Planner Basics. And they have, I think it's matcha tea cups with a straw with a little heart on it, but I'm going to use them as hydration. I actually like those quite a bit. So I'm going to use seven of them for each day. Um, I mean seven of them for the whole week, so one for each day. And then this way I'm able to have a reminder to stay hydrated, especially because we are stuck at home or most of us are stuck at home. And it's not great but there's truly nothing else that I can do about it I know that everybody is a little bit distressed but again it's remember what's in your control and what it's what is out of your control if it's something that you can control you shouldn't be stressing about it because you're not going to change it anyway and then we had a live and I spoke about this as well that I usually ask myself a question whether this is going to impact me in five minutes. If the answer is yes, move on and ask yourself how about five hours. If the answer is yes, move on, ask yourself five days, five months, I mean five weeks, five months, and then five years. Five years is the huge, huge stuff that actually five years is a long time so if the decision that you're making today is going to imp impact you in five years then just really really carefully think about it if it's five months yeah it's pretty serious too five months is not a short time period either so think about that if it's five weeks that's like a moderate decision that you have to make if it's five days Mm, that's a small decision. If it's five hours, don't even sweat it. Just do whatever you need to do. So that's how I look at things and that's how decisions are made for me. And I think that was a good strategy for myself. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this spread. 
and I'm just going to pop it back in my planner. I hope you enjoyed it. If you participated in our challenge, go ahead and leave me um, a comment down below, like with the link to your channel if you have one, or tag me in Instagram. I would love to see what you guys came up with. Thank you so much for watching again, and to all of my subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me and watching my stuff. And for those of you who are visiting, please consider subscribing. I truly, truly appreciate you. Bye!